Hello everyone, Argofump here, playing Otherworld, Omens of Summer. This fairy tale is not suitable for persons under 14 years of age. Yes, it's a scary game. If you're too young, you should not be playing this game. Now, uh, yesterday, I played the first game in the series, Otherworld... Something of Spring, Shadows of Spring. Otherworld, Shadows of Spring. That's the first game in the series. This is the second game. Now, towards the end of the first game, I got really confused and I had no idea what was happening. I just could not solve puzzles at all. So I'm hoping that this game will be a bit easier on me. I, I, I was tired yesterday. I'm not as tired today. So, so, so maybe that will make a difference. Oh good, and <laughs> the loading screen is finally gone. Now I can actually start playing this game. So, I'm Argolfumpf. Argolfumpf, yes, and let's get started. I'm going to play on casual, easier mode. Because like I said, previous game totally kicked my butt. Last spring, I moved to an old house in the countryside. I hoped for a quiet life. But instead, I stumbled upon another world, hidden beneath our own. Yeah, I remember that. That was just yesterday. It was a world of dark fey magic few had ever seen. I met a young girl named Fiona, who was trapped by an evil creature called the Shade. I saved her, and now Fiona is under my care. Yeah, I adopted a random girl. Even as I hug Fiona close, I know she is still in danger. The Shade wants to cast an eternal winter and rule over our world. Fiona and all other human beings born with magic stand in his way. <laughs> Fiona told me her teacher, Ms. Thomas, can help her stop the Shade. We've arrived at Fiona's old school to look for her. I can only hope we're not too late. I don't like that crow. Whenever we have a crow in video games, it's never a good sign. A murder of crows. That's a, that's a horrible name for the first chapter. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Okay, so welcome to Otherworld. Welcome to Otherworld. Basically, evil bad things are alive in, in Otherworld, and we helped save Fiona. We helped save her in the previous game. We have to find my teacher, Miss Thomas. But first... You need the sight to be able to see magic and fey creatures. See that plaque? There's more to it than meets the eye. Nice! This game has full voice acting! In the previous game, you only had uh, voice acting in the... If you can restore that plaque to its true form, you'll be able to see the school's true form as well. You only had voice acting in, 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 in the, uh, you know, cutscenes? So now we have voice acting all the time, and even scarier stuff sounds like an upgrade. I mean, if this this game is scary enough to get a warning that, whoa, 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 you need to be at least 14 to play this game, I, I think... I, I think that means we're in for a scary time. Okay, if I never... if I ever need it... it okay, I can use a task to see what things are. Uh, the, 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 the tutorial, you're telling me way too much. Okay, okay. The, bleh, okay. Until recently, I lived an ordinary life. Then I moved into the house and saved Fiona from an evil fae called the Shade. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good enough summary of the first game. What's in my car? Blank paper. Miss Thomas was going to save Fiona from the Shade. Okay, so Miss Fiona sent us a letter about a scarecrow? A scarecrow? What does that have to do with anything? And in the back seat, oh, we have her stuffed animal. Oh, and she's got a little stuffy doll of her friend, the hobgoblin. So this is Fiona's family. This is her mother, dead. Her father, dead. Miss Thomas, the teacher, not dead. Glove box key, so let's open up the glove box. Seashell? Looks like that's it for um, that area. And perhaps this flower goes here. And the seashell goes here. But I'm going to need 
Something icy. Hint. Oh, there's an icy branch. I, I didn't notice that. What? Huh? Oh, we just... We just went for this normal world? This is the gift world? of sight. The ability to see the magical world. The evil we sensed is probably looking for Ms. Thomas. We have to stop them before they find her. We traveled from normal world to other world. So other world is kind of creepy now. Kind of majorly creepy. Okay, let's 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 get some stuff here. Branches out of the way. No, seriously, branches out of the way. And is that fish food? Hm, wait, 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 what's inside my car? What? It's a map. So the map will take you... It's a map. It will take you anywhere in the game. Looks like this is the, uh... Looks like this is the only area we can reach so far. Our car. I guess it makes sense. Okay, so let's go inside. This is a hidden object scene. I haven't seen one of those in a while. In a, uh, a hidden object scene, you want to find all the items listed at the bottom of the screen. This says, find all the crows. Oh, come on, that's totally a crow. Oh. I have to spin these things around to help find the crows? Okay. I'll play your little game, crows. Oh, that's not a crow, that's just a leaf. Let's use a hint for a crow here. And I need three more crows. And I think I've found all the crows I'm going to find. So let's say hello to another feature. This is the guide. The guide tells you uh, where everything is and how to get through the game. Let's see, I don't know if the hint meter fills up while I'm reading the guide. I suspect it does not. So merely looking at the guide didn't really help me all that much. Um, let's use another hint. Wow, that was, that was rough. Oh, okay, so some of these outlines look like crows. Like, that's that's a crow outline, and so that's actually a crow. Okay. So all the crows I couldn't find... It began find. when feathers fell from the sky. I felt a strange foreboding, just like when I first met the Shade. Is the shade. Shade, I thought I killed you in the previous game, and why do you have a giant crow buddy? I'll follow you from now on. My locket can help give us hints along the way. Let's go! Okay. I'm gonna have to learn to stop talking all the time because I keep interrupting people during these scenes. So let's talk to the crow? What's this? A little girl looking for Miss Thomas. Do not worry, Master. I'm sure I will find her first. Fool. Do not underestimate the power of that mortal. She has stopped me once before. I'm still weak. You must fight for me, Crow. The Crow's name is Crow? Find the teacher, take the girl, and bring them both to me. Or else you will have no place in the eternal winter. Now go. Um, this is not good. Okay, select the birds to figure out their patterns. Ah, this is a matching challenge. So wasn't there like a yellow, yellow bird here? Yep, and that's red, and that's also red. Ooh, those are yellow. Those are green. 
those are the two reds. And those are the two reds. Resilient little worms, aren't you? I will not fail, my master. Come and enter the school if you dare. Oh, I dare, I dare indeed. Crow just flies away. Now, weren't we supposed to find somebody called the Scarecrow in the school? And are we in other world? I think we went back to the normal world. Okay, we're back to the normal world. That's good. No, what? No, no, no! Crow! Okay, Straw Hat is out of reach, and that's a memorial to Fiona. After she disappeared... Yeah, we kind of saved her from... Yeah, I mean, she was kidnapped by the evil, evil monster. I forgot my locker combination. I think I wrote it somewhere in my classroom. Seriously, Fiona? How could you forget your locker combo? Oh, I'd probably forget my locker combo, too, if I was kidnapped by a monster. Oh, and it's hit an object challenge. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Okay, so it looks like... Uh, I'll just use a hint here. Oh, yeah, this is my favorite type of hidden objects challenge. The one where if you click on an item, you find an item, it gets taken off the list, and you really feel like you're making more progress than you actually are. I love it. Okay, so this is a hammer, and I also have a spoon there, and we zoom out. Here's a star. I bet I can find another area here, in a shoebox. Bracelet and scissors. Oh, look, and the Fiona picture is sleeping. She was so bored with hidden objects challenges, she's like, I'm just taking a nap here. Use the hammer to remove the plank sporting up the window. And yeah, it looks like she's sleeping while the, the hint is uh, refilling. I should remove all the boards. Well, that's what I was trying to do. Whoa. Whoa. I'm violent. I'm violent. Why, why didn't I just try to go into school? And that's a fairy. If you find a fairy statue, that was my favorite part of the previous game, actually. Finding fairy statues. If you find a fairy statue and you click on it, it's cool. Playground over here. That is... Okay, it looks like there's something on the head for the crow. These are beads. I've found some of the beads. It looks like if I if I get all the beads on... Let me remove this nut. Yeah, okay, so if I get all the nuts on... I mean, all the beads on, that will be awesome. This is a rabbit hutch? One of the toy bunnies is missing from the heap. Let me check my guide here. Wow, look at all of these chapters. Anyway, there are 15 achievements you can get throughout this game, finding six of the hidden fairies. So where are the fairies? These are bonus puzzles. Where are the fairies? Where are the fairies? I want to know where the fairies are. Wow, we've got a lot. Ah, here we go, finally, fairies. Okay, so there's a fairy down here. Let me see what that fairy... There it is, it's on the ground. So there are six of them in total, according to the game. Now let's go inside the here. The school looks bleak, reflecting the dark spell it has fallen under. It will take time before the light finds its way in. We could just open the window, let some light in that way. Branches are too thick for me to cut with my bare hands. Fairy statue. Who goes there? That voice. Fiona? It's me, the Scarecrow. I tried to protect the school, but the Shade trapped me here. I can help you defeat the Crow if you get me out of here. I've lost my rake. My hat, my arm, and my eyes. Return them to me and I can chase the crow out of our school. 
I was able to swipe this off the crow before he and the Shade imprisoned me. I hope it's useful. So this dude has just lost everything. Hey, and a gem! I bet that that, that is useful. I've lost my rake. My hat, my arm, and my eyes. My eyes! Ah. Give me a second, I want to check the guide once more. Oh, man. I want the... I want to double check with the, uh, with the fairies, because I'm trying to find the fairies. You know, I figure I'll be able to do that, but... But I need to make sure that we have one fairy per screen, and it looks like... Okay... It doesn't look like we're ever going to get any any tricky things where we've got l multiple... Oh! Oh, we've got multiple fairies per screen on some times. Okay, well, I'll just have to keep my eyes out for that once I find a big waterfall. Once I find a big waterfall, then we start having multiple fairies per screen. Okay. I can jimmy this open with something thin. And Hint says, I can look here... That gives me a bead, and this crow is missing an eye. Nail file. Uh, and that gives us a lock. Uh, I'm not sure what the nail file will do. Oh, there's the eye. There's the eye that I need. I need that eye. And wake up, wake up. Oh, I've got a stuffed bunny. I don't need your hint. I will figure this out. Drag? Wow, okay. This is kind of tough. Um, spot. Okay. So it looks like when you get one in the right spot, it goes into place. So cottontail, dirty ears, floppy, spectacles, and snowy. What? Why would you hurt the bunnies? The bunnies! You crow. And good thing it's a crow this time and not a raven, because I always get confused if it's crow and a raven. So take note of the gray beads, which cannot be moved, and compare them to the center column to figure out the correct sequence. So the pattern... Okay, so I click on a bead to change its thing. I have no idea what this pattern could be. Huh. Thank you. Oh, wait. Well, okay, so it's saying one, two, three, four, right? And if this row is one, and one is always in the bottom right, so one is always in the bottom right. Okay, and then two. Two is the upper, upper right, so that's gonna be... This. And then broccoli. Three is going to have to be the lower, upper left, upper left. And then bottom right, bottom left is... Four. There we go. That gives me the eyeball, which I can use inside here. I imagine it will give me access to a new room. Okay, let's go inside Fiona's classroom. It's so very nice of you to fall for my trap. Come here, little girl, and I'll have both you and Miss Thomas for my master. Crow, I don't like you. Click on the white seals to swap the positions. The feathers act as a clue. Oh, okay, so am I trying to match the colors? I think that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. So if I have orange... Okay, so let's... Whoa. Okay, so orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, purple, and then... Yep. Perfect. Done.
that gets rid of the crow, and in the next video, I am... Haha! Found my fairy! In the next video, I will continue exploring this classroom.